Hey everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 25th of April. So today was the monthly expiry. So usually on a monthly expiry, we have a lot of volatility, like the Nifty opened in the red and then moved up. Again, it went into the red and then had a big surge and ended at a around the day's high, right? So we'll see how the data is. And also a very important uh, data has come up. The US GDP number, which was estimated around 2.5, that has fallen to like 1.6, which is a kind of a concern because uh, what happens? The inflation is kind of moving up while the GDP is going down, right? Usually that is the case in uh, during stagflation, wherein the inflation is very hard to cool off while the growth also kind of slows down, right? So let's see, it is just one uh, number, one quarter number. So uh, the coming quarter numbers will kind of guide us. But this was kind of expected that the GDP growth or the economy, US economy will slow down. I had even made a video wherein I kind of um, uh, said why there should be a recession and kind of a sell off in the global markets from June onwards, right? All the data points are in that particular video. You can check it out on my uh, YouTube uh, channel as well, right? So let's get started with today's analysis because the data for uh, India looks pretty decent, right? So we'll just go through that. So we'll start with Nifty analysis. So before that, just look at what the FIs have been doing. So this is the chart of what the FIs have been doing almost 30,000 odd crores of selling in the last like eight sessions, right? So this is close to like 3.5 billion crores of selling that has come in in the large cap indices but even then the large caps have moved up like two odd percent even with this right because the dis have been continuously buying it and pushing it higher but usually it is a cause of concern because what happens uh, there is a limit for the dis to buy right so if the fis continue to sell eventually what is going to happen is the DIs would have to kind of take the money out of small mid caps and then start pushing it in the large caps right so this does not look that great the FI number but if you look at what happened today intraday so we opened gap down and then we moved higher around 22500 and then we again uh, went lower but we kind of made a higher high and from there we went above the 22,600 mark for some time while cooling off around that 22,570 mark. So looking at how the Nifty behaved, it was pretty good even the volumes were pretty high. So now if you look at the large cap accumulation, it is very good compared to the last few days, right? Because the DIS have kind of gone out and bought almost 6,000 odd crores of uh, equity in today's trade right so the dis are continuously pouring in money so they are kind of holding the market or pushing it higher so nothing really to worry although the uh, us gdp number is kind of down even the dow is down almost a percent so that is a tad negative but looking at what the big guys especially the dis are doing they're still pouring in money in the indices or in the market which is a positive Right? So because they are the ones who are kind of pushing it higher or keeping it at the same levels. So if you look at what the index did, so the index kind of gave a breakout of that particular trading range, right? Even the volumes are very high. That is why you are seeing the accumulation also improving. So Nifty should continue moving higher, but because of this news, maybe tomorrow can be a slight negative day for the Nifty. We can again come back in that range and spend some more time there, right? It all depends on how the Dow kind of ends today, right? So that is about the Nifty. So the best performing sector today was the pharma sector, which kind of was up almost 1.5%. So decent accumulation happened in the pharma sector, after which an almost a double bottom kind of a structure also on the technicals, right? So along with the data, very good data, it kind of bottomed out and trying to move up right now. So this was one and another, the next best performing was the healthcare segment, wherein the, all your hospitals, diagnostic on all those ph even uh, pharma stocks are also there, right? So these were the best performing sectors for today. And now coming to the banking, uh, bank nifty. So the bank nifty with huge volumes kind of moved up. So like I told you, the large caps had decent accumulation, 
but since that bearish news kind of has come in right so tomorrow might be another day of consolidation for the nifty high chances that we kind of open gap down and during the day we kind of move up in case if dow ends around 1% lower than what it is showing right now so it is trading at a percent lower right now if it kind of ends there what i feel is we might open lower and kind of recover from there right so this is about the bank nifty it has kind of broken the range no one was expecting such a gdp number from the us market although it has come more like a shock for uh, most of the analysts looks like uh, even it will have some impact on the asian markets tomorrow morning and since it is a friday usually the sentiment is not that great on a friday because everyone no one wants to take a new position and kind of carry it over the weekend right but still the data is kind of fine in the large caps now coming to the mid caps so the mid caps slight cool off though but if you look at the charts the mid cap index is still moving higher right so the data is on a lower side but not really low as we saw on 19th or even 15th of april right so the data is decent there and if you look at the chart like i told you in the previous sessions that the previous videos that we can hit that 50500 mark wherein after that we can see some kind of a resistance there so tomorrow you can do that kind of hit there and then uh, have a little uh, selling or profit booking from a few guys who were kind of trapped there a few days ago right so that is a high possibility but the data and the technicals look pretty good for the mid cap index now coming to the small cap analysis so let's see what the data tells us so the data has cooled off a bit so it has not really cooled off rapidly but it has cooled off a bit right but if you look at the index the index kind of ended at the day's high all time high again moving higher so in this case uh, chances are it can retest that uh, 16587 because of the news that came in but uh, looking at the data and stuff probably one day of a red candle like what we saw yesterday and then again moving higher because the data is also supporting it so nothing really to worry like what is being portrayed and stuff maybe some panic selling might happen but that should be bought into because the data was pretty strong today as well right so now coming to the overall accumulation the overall accumulation is also better than yesterday not expecting any major kind of decline until there is like a panic but even if there is panic probably friday and even a little spill over might happen on monday but from then it should start picking up if the accumulation stays around these levels tomorrow as well right so nothing really to panic the mid cap small caps and even the large cap accumulation looks pretty good we should move higher as we go into may expiry right so april was a pretty decent month even may should be a good is what i feel from the data and stuff right and even the election uh, thing would play out in the whole of may right but nothing really to worry about right hope this helps see you in tomorrow's uh, session once the trading is done and the data is out thank you